Hi, this is uh, Matt Topol showing some lead parts for Open Up the Heavens for St. Matthew Lutheran Church. Uh, the first time I'm doing this video, it's specifically for Mike O. So I'm going to show all four lead parts here. The first part that I show is one that I'm going to cover for this weekend. And then the other three, I'd like you to get as many of those as you can. So this is Open Up the Heavens in the key of D. Let's start with the main uh, riff part, which is going to sound like this. One, two, three. <laughs> So that's really what we're looking at. That's all octaves with a fifth string root. So it's the uh, fifth string root starting on an F sharp, and then you're going over two frets and down uh, two strings. So there's this muted string in between. And that's gonna give us this octave sound. So that's gonna start on the F sharp, then down two frets to the E, and then to the D. Second time through, we come back up to the G up there. The harder part is the rhythm, so it's, it's gonna sound like this, one, two, three, and four, and a one, two, three, and four, and a one, two, three, and four, and a one, two, three. So you're hitting those strong beats always on one, and a lot of the movement happens on the uh, and of three and four. So that's the first part. Again, if this, if Mike O is the only one listening to this, uh, don't worry about that for this week, but it's a good part to learn for the future. Chronologically, the next part we get is the verse. So the verse part, there's just this little guitar lead section. It adds a little bit during the space of the verse. So that's gonna be a B string again, 12th fret, and then down to the 10th fret. And that's going to happen um, after the words calling out to you. And then that'll be the start of uh, we'll Burn Our Hearts With Truth. It's more or less the same thing to start the pre-chorus. You can listen and find that in the recording that stands out quite a bit. Um, there's really only three other parts to look at. There's the pre-chorus and the bridge section, which are very similar, and then there's the chorus section. So I'm just gonna go chronologically and we'll hit the pre-chorus next. Pre-chorus will sound like this. So this is all eighth notes, starting with the slide up to the 14th fret, the C sharp note. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So fourteenth, twelfth, down to the tenth, and then we just repeat that again with a different ending. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the last time around, we just go up to the fifteenth fret. And then either you can stay with that at the end or alternate adding in the E string on the 17th fret. So with the vocal, it'll sound like this. But you're the reason we're here. just stay there. It's hard for me to play and sing that at the same time, which is why it's really helpful to have a second guitar player. The next hardest part is going to be with uh, the verse. I find this to be super challenging to play and sing, but it's not so bad if you're just playing. We're going to be hanging out on the 10th fret for most of this. Uh, so 10th fret B string and E string, and just picking back and forth again on eighth notes. Um, I'll walk us through it, but let's hear it uh, the first time. So that's the whole chorus all the way through. That's gonna start again on the 10th fret. And we're staying with just the 10th fret until the end of that first phrase. So with the vocal, it'll sound kind of like this. Open up the heavens, 
We want to see you. Just that word you, we can add in the 12th fret on the E string. I'm using my pinky to reach that. You could do it like this, but I find it way more comfortable just to hit it with the pinky. So, open up the heavens. I want to see you open up the floodgates. A mighty river flowing from your heart. So when we hit that B minor chord, we have to make a change. We're going to slide up to the B note on the B string, 12th fret, but keep our index finger here. So I'm doing the shift like this. So I'm sliding that finger and then my index can get involved on that B minor phrase. Again, it'll sound like this with the B. Um, we'll go from the start of the chorus. Open up the heavens. We want to see you open up the floodgates. A mighty river flowing from your heart. Feeling every part of our praise. So that end. You were here with the B minor. And then just slide that up again. And just end it right there on the 15th fret B string. So that's the chorus part. And then the last bit is the bridge. So getting to the bridge, the first time we can just lay out. The second time we're gonna add in this part. Again, it's just that little run, stay in the 10th, 12th, 14th, and 15th frets. It's really where this whole song lays. But it starts off with the 9th and 10th fret on the E string. Um, with the vocal, it'll sound like this. Show us, show us your glory. Show us, show us your power. Show us, show us your glory, Lord. Second time through, we add it. Show us, show us your... Show us, show us your power. Show us... Show us your glory. So that last time through, I messed up a little bit. Don't hit that note, just do that run. And you'll hear that then get into the main, uh, the main riff part. I hope that helped. I'm sure that wasn't the most concisely explained video, but again, there's really just uh, three parts for Mike that I want you to look at. It's this verse part, the pre-chorus part, the chorus part, which will sound like this, And if you can, then the bridge part, which is very similar to the pre-chorus run, that'll sound like this. So not too bad, but if you can get those parts, that adds a ton to the, the sound. All right, thanks again, Mike. I'll see you this weekend.